Hello, thanks for joining me. Just wanted to do a quick uh, video to talk about the build thing to be uh, starting to do here. Give everybody a uh, look at the frame before I uh, fill it up with parts. And I just wanted to kind of let everybody know what, uh, what I was planning on using for parts for it. So there's the uh, frame. This is the eight millimeter version. For this build, I wanted to go with basically everything top of the line for the parts. So let's uh, take a look at what I decided on. I'm going to use two 14 gauge XT60 pigtails because uh, with this frame, the rad lion frame, it's meant to carry a success pack on top and another success pack underneath. So I'm going to be using two XT60 pigtails. Uh, it does also fit a 2600 LiPo on top. Well, at the heart of it is going to be all T-motor parts. So I've got the new T-motor play controller. I'm not sure if this has actually been released yet or not. I think they may have just released it. It's uh, the T-Motor F7 Pro. It's meant for, uh, it's actually meant for um, Cine lifters. Well, not only Cine lifters, but this is their, their Cine lifter flight controller. So you know it's gonna be a, a top of the line flight controller because it's meant for a, quite an expensive machine. And then for the ESC, I'm going with the tried and true T-Motor F55 Pro 2. Uh, this is a you know, one of the best top of the line ESCs you can get. And for the motors, it's going to be the T Motor F90, the 1300 kV version. So you actually get the braided motor wire cover in the box. Two prop nuts. Uh, spare gaskets and o-rings and, and a bolt for holding the bell on on the bottom and even some heat drink for your uh, for the end of the motor wire cover that's pretty nice oh and a few stickers this is the part that i'm most excited to use for this build these uh I've been looking at some some other people's videos and some thrust test data and so on, and these seem to be noticeably more efficient than the uh, Brother Hobby uh, 2806.5. These are also at 2806.5, and they're actually pretty much the exact same weight as the Brother Hobby motor, give or take maybe 0.2 of a gram. I personally think that this looks like a, a slightly higher quality motor. Just the finishing look of it. Um, let's uh, take a quick look at the ESC here. It's actually really nicely uh, packaged here as well. You get the uh, old uh, 12 gauge XT60 pigtail there. You even get um, the race wire things here. And of course it comes with all the wiring harness and stuff you need. It's got a little bit of weight to it. That's uh, we've definitely got a bunch of copper inside there. You can see uh, it's all shiny, so it's been, you know, it's, uh, I can tell it's been conformal coated. Which is good because I always wonder about that when there's got a, a heat sink on it if it's been conformal coated underneath. And so this one now appears that it has been. And it's got the holes there to direct them out to the capacitor if you want. I never use the capacitor that comes with these things. I always use a, a 1000 microfarad 50 volt. Oh, and one of the things I wanted to one of the things I want to look at or show you here is that this has 
a 10 volt a 10 volt out on it so it's got telemetry current motor one motor two three four and then plus 10 volts and then battery voltage and then ground and ground so that's uh that might come in handy not all the scs come with uh come with an extra vc on them nowadays and the flight controller since it's meant for uh or since it can be used for a center lifter but what t-motor has done is just given you one one big wiring harness that has all eight motors in it and i can see there's also a second harness in here that's just set up for four motors so you don't have to worry about having these extra wires or having to get rid of them you just use the, the correct plug we have an assortment of different uh, uh, micro connector plugins and then these wires have the, the plugs already connected to them so you just connect them into the other wiring harness end in the order that you want you know a fairly standard but nice looking uh, light controller everything for the video for your camera and your VCX is all up front uh, it's got an MPU 6000 gyro and it's got everything you need for your receiver GPS and so on on the side there uh, it's got a barometer it's a BMP 280 MPU 6000 it's got a 10 volt 2 amp BC and a 5 volt 3 amp yeah there's a 16 megabyte black box eight motor outputs USB type C oh and it's uh it's got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Oh, since it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, because uh, with the SpeedDB app, I believe doing firmware flashing over the SpeedDB app, you need to have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So that might actually uh, allow you to like upgrade your ESC firmware and stuff um, in the SpeedDB app, I think. They'll definitely let you set all your kids and everything, of course. For the GPS, I'm going to be using the Maytech M8Q5883. Uh, I was thinking about using the, the M9, M9N GPS, because uh, that's the, you know, the best top of the line GPS. But it does, it's pretty big and it gets a little bit close to the props in the back here. This one's quite a bit smaller. And it's still uh, quite a good GPS and comes with a compass. I'm going to be using Crossfire again, of course. So the, I got my Crossfire diversity receiver and a Crossfire extra extended Immortal T so I can get out to the very front of the quad. And then this time, I think, I don't know, usually I go with the uh, UFL connected Bard pole, but I think I might try going with a UFL to SMA extension here and uh, experimenting with some homemade uh, crossfire antennas. This is basically the same thing as the bard pole, just built into a sort of a standard antenna kind of shape. I'll probably do a video about making these if uh, my experimenting with this works out well. For video, I'm going to be using the, the Rush Solo for the uh, VTX, or Rush Tank Solo. And then a Runcam Eagle V3 for my camera. And True RC Singularity for my video antenna, or VTX antenna. That's all the parts I'll be using for my Rad Lion extended range, long range quad build.